Hi there, Leo. How are you? It's me, Anissa from Leo Bloom, and I'm back to with your July 2018 reading. So, as usual, this is going to be a relationship spread, and it could always apply with any who. It could be with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues, with your best friend, with your children, with your lovers, with your partners, any who. I'm basically just going to pick up your relationship energy in general, all right? So, how are you guys doing, Leo? You know, usually how this works, though, the first person that pops inside of your head when you first listen to this video is the person that this video is dedicated to. G, Leo! Okay, you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Page of Cups in reverse, and you also have the High Priestess in reverse as your overall energy. This is not a good place to be for a fire sign. I'm a fire sign. I'm a Sagittarius. This is not a good place to be. Why? Why is it not a good place to be? Because whenever you guys are fire, whenever you guys are stressed out, whenever you guys are letting simple, very, very little thing in life try to interfere with your mood in general, you know, just simple things in the morning that didn't go your way, and then you let it ruin your mood for the whole day, you became like this, the Eight of Swords. Do not give someone the power to ruin your mood. If, so, if you give someone the power to ruin your mood, you guys are going to be like this, the Eight of Swords, in your mental entrapment. And whenever you guys are in that mental entrapment, for a fire sign, it's very draining because you felt less motivated. You guys felt very, very less creative. You felt very, very less inspired. Whereas as a fire sign, you need to be inspired all the time, right? So that you have a reason to wake up in the morning and feel so fresh and feel so good and, you know, be creative in either your work, your study, or your business in general. Your overall challenge, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. With the High Priestess in reverse, you kind of have already a fixed assumption about a certain someone that you're dealing with. Could be someone who you think that you shared a twin flame connection with or a soulmate connection with or a karmic relationship with, okay? You already do have a fixed assumption about it. But the funny thing is that no, knowing that you have a fixed assumption about something, why can't you get out of yourself from this position, you know? What's challenging, you have the Queen of Pentacles and you also have the Six of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who you thought is very, very reliable, someone who you thought you could always depend on, someone who could be financially stable or well off, but then you realize that they're not like that, or it could be like you felt like this person you could really rely on, you could really trust them with all these stories. Turns out they either use those things against you or they're not as reliable as who you thought they were. I want to comment on the High Priestess in reverse now, but I think I would want to see the card first. Okay. All right, nice. So they, from their side, they have the Star card and also they also have the Chariot card. So with the Star card and the Chariot card, it means that you, you know, how they feel for you in the past is they feel like you're someone who is very unique. They feel like you guys are someone who is very unique. You guys are someone who either is very, very pretty or just someone that, you know, they feel like they have met the woman or the man in their dreams. And they are heavily and consistently pursuing you. And for Aaliyah, really, it's a good thing. Like, you really love it when people pursue you strongly and heavily, when people show you off. You have the King of Wands and you also have the Death card from your side. It can make you good, you know, in the past. This person kind of like bring up the fire within you again. You have the Magician card in reverse. But somehow, you know, because they come either on too strongly for you, it's like a love bombing stage for me, it seems. Because it made you kind of like feel a little bit confused by the way they approach you. Because they love bomb you in a way when they kind of like disappear or when they stop giving you the love that they used to give you in the past, it makes you feel dizzy because before you guys were being love bumped. So it was like a real win. Everything was confusing and when it stopped, you guys are dizzy. Like what the, what the hell just happened? I thought everything was doing great. I thought they were like this. I thought they were like that. Turns out they're not that. They're not the person who I thought they were. But the best part about it is that in the past, this person actually kind of like erupt that fire within you. 
I know, a shedding of the old skin did happen in the past. This person has the power in a way that they inspire you to change your either your daily habit, either your perspective of your career. They make you want to better yourself. This person has the power. That's why when this person is kind of like is being not the person that you thought they were, it becomes confusing for you because of the power that they already kind of like give to you in the past. Nine of Cups, my card of narcissistic thing. Someone who only cares about their own emotional well-being with the Nine of Cups. But also, you know, look at this woman right here. So, so smuggish, right? It's like they get off from the feeling that they know they have caused you all this. They get off from the feeling that, you know what, I have managed to make up. My Leo fell for me. At the Knight of Pentacles, so it's a good one. Actually, there's like someone in your midst who has like an unwavering devotion and loyalty towards you, but they're not making any move. You have the Moon card. Now you're kind of like wondering what the hell is happening. You could be doing a little bit of research or selfish behavior. You actually have someone here who is not who didn't pursue you as strongly as 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 the person from the past. Someone here who has like an unwavering devotion and loyalty towards you, but the Knight of Pentacles is a non-moving knight. So meaning that this person is very passive. This person is looking for a green light. This person could come up and approach you as a friend first before they before they um, announce their feelings for you because they're waiting for a green light. It's like someone who has been friend zone almost. And this person actually brings you out of a period of disappointment so you could have kind of like rely on this person to to deal with your emotional turmoil with the person who is very very selfish I cannot you know like I know the knight of pentacles like I know the knight of pentacles in my life and I would never ever fall for that guy so I wouldn't uh, kind of like comment on that <laughs> You, you guys are feeling the lover's card in reverse. So you guys are feeling kind of like a little bit, you know, as I said before, dizzy. What the hell is going on? You felt like you've been, you you feel like, you know what, where am I right now? You know, is what you, is, is who you were in the past the truth or who you are right now is the truth, is the reality, is who you really are. Okay, you felt like you've been lied to, you felt like you are in the middle of deception and now you're trying to gather all wills and powers to gain information in order for you to get out of this situation. I'm going to comment on that later. If you know who the Knight of Pentacles is, if you know who I'm talking with about someone who has an unwavering devotion and loyalty towards you, and if you like them back, better give them green light so that they can approach you. Because they're very afraid to approach you because they don't want to ruin the friendship of the both of you, if you know what I'm saying. And they're very patient, so like they know how you feel right now. Mm. At the bottom of your deck, you have the world card best, okay? Best thing. <sighs> the best part about it is that at the underneath your deck, after the world card, you have the ace of cup. The best part about it is that, you know, after July 15, everything is going to an end. The cycle, you know, the ongoing cycle, the never-ending saga that you've been with with the person here is going to end really soon so it's good okay this person you know now that you finally kind of like giving them your stance now that you finally kind of like showing the person from your past that you don't want them they feel a little bit disappointed they will feel a little bit disappointed in few days to come and they will kind of like realize oh my god I think I need to do something about this so that you know the Leo will change his or her mind about me so this person would kind of like act sorry but not sorry towards you
because they they're disappointed because whatever they did you know the tricks to get a reaction out of you was backfired on them and they would do things to kind of like you know get your apologies okay but it will be too daunting for you because it just you know you lose trust on them they betrayed your trust heavily and you don't want to get back to the position that you are in now okay so it's good a cycle is finally completed and you realizing that this person you know although they did really good thing for you in the past where they made you feel very very inspired now all they do the residue of their actions that they did only left you dealing with your shadow side shadow side as a insecurities feeling like you're not good enough comparing yourself to other people and everything okay so it's not a good feeling for you i understand that and you're going to completely cut them off it's a good thing it's a good thing you're going to completely cut them off you're going to go into a period where um you feel like you want to socialize a lot again okay the person here who has an unwavering devotion and loyalty towards you might say hi and you might kind of like you know entertain them a little bit you might entertain them just a little bit because you feel like this person is giving you the tingling feeling that you've missed from the previous relationship that you've had from the person in your past though okay would it be a good idea if you go back to the person if of your past when they return and when they feel so say sorry to you at the bottom of your deck you have the world card and the world card and the ace of cups so let's pull another cards no it's not move away i mean like now you guys are in a process to move to a calmer water now you're in a place where you guys want to get away from all the negativity that they bring to your life into your life right if you let them in it's like an ongoing cycle it's a karmic relationship that needs to end you know it's a cycle that really needs to end even if you want them back try to um make them really really understand that it's unacceptable for them to do that and they need to move mountains almost to to convince you that they have changed okay don't go back to them very very easily that that would be my because it's the nine of cups nine of cups is my narcissistic selfish egoistical person card someone who only do things for their own benefit for their own emotional satisfaction okay yeah for their own emotional satisfaction and be ready to always have your swords up ready to block them out okay be very ready i mean they're returning yes they are but it really is supposed to end even if you want them back try to you know make them understand the consequences of their actions all right Leo. so i really hope that you guys enjoy my reading i'll see you guys in one week from now for your mitchell i reading bye bye